Tesla will be a multi-trillion dollar company. With its vision for a scientific-like future, we'll dive into the three reasons why Tesla will not only revolutionize industries, but become by far the most valuable company in the world. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world to sustainable energy. More than 1 billion people worldwide do not have access to electricity, and many that do get their electricity from polluting sources such as coal and fossil fuels. Tesla is bringing sustainable and affordable energy solutions to communities around the world. On the island of Tau in America, Samoa, Tesla is creating a microgrid consisting of over 5,000 solar panels and 60 megapack systems, which is capable of powering 100% of the island of clean energy for three full days without the sun. Today, instead of burning 110,000 gallons of diesel per year, paying for rising fuel and related transportation costs to having to face negative health impacts, the nearly 1,000 residents of Tau benefit from clean, affordable, and renewable energy year round. But Tesla needs to become way more efficient with its factories. For instance, in 2018, the Gigafactory had a capacity of about around 150 gigawatt hours. But now that they have improved in their efficiency, the same factory size could produce one terawatt hours of battery per year and go from being a Gigafactory to a Terrafactory, which is a 10 times increase in efficiency. And I only expect them to get more efficient as they grow. The plan is to grow to produce three terawatt hours of batteries by 2030 and half of this going towards sustainable energy. So that's 1.5 terawatt hours of batteries going towards their energy products. So right now, one mega pack is four megawatt hours of battery pack, which costs, which sells for around 2.5 million. And they just created a new factory in Lathrop, California, that has a 40 gigawatt hour production capacity. That can create 10,000 mega packs per year. But like I said, by 2030, they want to grow to 1.5 terawatt hour production, which is a 37 times increase in production. So right now, if you have 10,000 mega packs and they sell at 2.5 per piece, 2.5 million per piece, that is 25 billion in revenue per year. So let's say the price of the mega packs goes down because the battery production goes down as stated in Moore's law. If Tesla grow by 37 times in its battery production, like their goals say, they can go from 10,000 mega packs to 375,000 mega packs per year. And let's say they sell it, for instance, going down from 2.5 million down to 1 million a piece. That would make 375,000 mega packs times a million per piece that would be 375 billion in revenue per year, which is right around what Apple's yearly revenue is. So just its mega pack business alone could make Tesla a multi-trillion dollar company. Moving on to my second point of how Tesla could be the largest company in the world. So Apple right now that's doing around 375 billion in revenue itself is valued at more than $2 trillion. Right now, Tesla is valued at around $400 billion. So it has a lot to grow and that's just part of its mega pack business. The second is autonomy. When true full self driving is approved by regulators, it will mean that you will be able to summon your Tesla from pretty much anywhere. Once it picks you up, you'll be able to sleep, read, watch Netflix, play video games, or do anything that you want on your way to your destination. You also be able to add your car to a shared fleet just by tapping a button on the Tesla phone app and have it generate income for you while you're at work or on, vaca on vacation, significantly offsetting and at times potentially exceeding the monthly loan or lease costs. This dramatically lowers the true cost of ownership to the point where almost anyone can own a Tesla. Since most cars right now are only used by the owner five to 10% of the day, the fundamental economic utility of a true full self-driving car is likely several times than that of a car that is not um, capable of autonomy. In cities where demand will exceed the supply of customer-owned cars, Tesla will have to operate its own, own fleet, ensuring that you can always hail a ride from us no matter where you are. So like I said earlier, Tesla plans to produce three terawatt hours of battery per year by 2030. 
So they've stated that their goal is to produce 20 million cars per year by the same time. So if you do the math, half of the three terawatt hours goes to their mega pack and energy sector. And one point, the other half, 1.5 terawatt hours goes to, to their vehicles. If you, the average battery pack size for a vehicle is about 75 kilowatt hours, which is over 300 miles in range, which is typical for their cars today. The 1.5 terawatt hours divided by a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack equal comes out to 20 million cars per year. So it fits perfectly with their goals. So if Tesla were to operate its own fleet of 20 million robo taxis instead of selling them, how much would a robo taxi generate if it were in service all day, every day? Today, an Uber driver can make anywhere from 30,000 all the way up to 100,000 per year based on how much they drive per day. And I don't think most Uber drivers are driving 365 days per year. A robo taxi doesn't need to sleep or go home. And theoretically, it can work up to 22 hours a day with let's say two hours of charging time. Obviously there wouldn't be peak demand for 22 hours per day, but I believe you can have high demand or relatively high demand from at least 6 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m., which is 15 hours per day. So if it can generate, let's say, conservative $10 per hour and they work 15 hours a day, that's $150 per day. You multiply that by 365 days in the year, that would generate $54,750 per vehicle. So like I said, they wanna produce 20 million cars. So in revenue per car per year, which would multiply that by 20 million vehicles produced per year, 54,000 times the 20 million cars per year is 1.1 trillion in revenue. I don't think that they're gonna make every single car become a robo taxi, but that just shows the potential of how much revenue can really be produced by a robo taxi network. Right now, the largest company in the world by revenue is Walmart. In 2022, they did about 600 billion in revenue for the year. This would be close to double the revenue of the largest company by revenue in the world. And that's only one part of Tesla's business. And the craziest part of this is the next year when they produce another 20 million vehicles and it goes out and makes that same um, 50,000 for the per car, you now have a fleet of 40 million cars making 50,000. That's two trillion in revenue the next year. So as the size of their fleet grows, the revenue just becomes unfathomable. Think about when the fleet size becomes 100 million. The potential for autonomy is mind blowing and it's only one part of the company. And that is my second reason why I, I see Tesla being by far the largest company in the world. And number three is robotics and artificial intelligence. In 2022, we saw a huge leap in artificial intelligence with ChatGPT, Dolly, full self driving, and even deep fakes. It's only gonna improve exponentially, and Tesla plans to be the leader in robotics and artificial intelligence. Tesla gave us a glimpse of their plan by introducing Optimus Bot earlier on AI Day 2 in September. Some saw Optimus this year and were a little bit disappointed to see that it can only walk and do very basic tax, tasks, but this is just the beginning. Optimus uses the same uh, computer as the, the same computer for the full self-driving, um, it's just trained differently and it's just looking to solve world, uh, real world AI. Develop the next generation of its plan is to develop the next generation of automation, including general purpose, bipedal, humanoid, uh, robot capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, and boring. That's what you can find on the Tesla's website. So I see Optimus helping build Tesla's new factories in the future and ultimately helping them with their ambitious goals. Elon has also stated that 100 miles by 100 miles of solar panels could power the entire United States. That's 10,000 square miles of solar panels, which is just a small corner of Texas or Utah or Nevada. There, in the US, there's 3.6 million square miles. So it's actually a really small percentage and it could supply the entire United States with sustainable energy. 
So the problem is who's gonna install 10,000 square miles of solar panels? Well, that's where Optimus comes in. I see Optimus doing the long and boring, but very important task of installing and replacing broken solar panels. Most deserts are largely empty. Most of the world's deserts are largely empty. And most people don't wanna live or work in these places because conditions can be brutal. But for optimists, it could be a perfect job for them because humans wouldn't wanna do this. So in Africa, you could deploy solar in Sahara or the Kalahari in Southern Africa. For South America, you could use Argentina or Chile's large desert areas. And lastly, you have the Gobi and Arabian desert for Asia and Europe, where this would be dangerous work for humans, but for optimists, it could potentially be done to help transition the whole world to sustainability using solar panels and then storing that energy in Tesla's mega packs. The potential is honestly endless with Optimus. And like I said, st like I stated, their job is to just do boring and or dangerous jobs humans don't want to do. So Optimus in the future will be able to accelerate Tesla's goals and help them be more efficient and more cost effective as they would have a smaller workforce. Like I said earlier, Tesla's future sounds almost science like science fiction and that's what makes the company so exciting. Tesla's energy business will be worth trillions as well as its robo-taxi network. You combine the two, they become by far the most valuable company in the world and not even to mention that of the robotics part of their company as well as artificial intelligence. Tesla's innovation in sustainable energy, autonomy, and robotics makes for just a super exciting future for Tesla and that's why I consider myself a Tesla Hyperbowl. My name is Sean. Thank you guys for watching.